Muertas or Day of the Dead. It's a big holiday to those with Mexican heritage. It honors and celebrates those who have passed on. Yeah, and at the Pigeon and Hen Pottery Shop in downtown South Bend, they are giving you a peek into some of the <laughs> traditions of the holiday. That's where we find Walid alumni joins us live this morning. Walid, how are they celebrating? Yeah, there's a couple ways that the celebration is going to be happening here. As I mentioned, they're going to be painting some altars. There's going to be pan dulce, a bunch of different traditional items happening. And we're also going to be joined with one of the co-owners of Pigeon and Pen, or Pigeon and, excuse me, Pigeon and Hen Pottery, Diana Palomo. Diana, mm -hmm. can you talk to me a little bit about Dia de los Muertos and what it means to your heritage? Um, Dia de los Muertos is actually November 1st and 2nd, mm -hmm. and we're having a celebration this Wednesday. We're having it this Wednesday because it normally takes about two and a half weeks for you to get your pottery back. Right. So we want to make sure your altars and your cats and your other little cute little pieces will be ready by then. Um, what it means to me is it means to honor those people that have passed on. And then we do it by giving them, you know, their favorite treats. If it's pan dulce and other, other, delect, uh, other delicious treats. And then we do have a little bit of an altar kind of set up okay. right here. So this is our altar here here mm -hmm. for Wednesday's event. The event starts from 5 until 7, and so you'll be able to paint some beautiful little gatitos that we have <laughs> here. Um, also, a calavera pumpkin, which is really cute mm -hmm. here. It's a two-piece one and also a spoon rest. We also have, you know, pan dulce because my mother loved it, and then also some other lovely chips. They're called pinwheels. And then I also have, you know, we normally pray to those who have passed on, mm -hmm. you know, honor them every single day but most specifically on November 1st and 2nd and we have saints here that just is part of my culture so that's why I have it here. So mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of meaning, a lot of yeah, tradition yeah, yeah. is coming so. with the altars mm -hmm. and with these mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. And then people are going to be able to make their own as well, yeah, too. Yeah, uh, yeah. The event's happening tomorrow night, 5 to 7 mm -hmm. p.m., right here at the Pigeon and Hen Pottery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, easy for you Wonderful. to say. <laughs> you got it right. And I just think it's a wonderful opportunity to just give everybody this heads up a few weeks early and uh, yeah, we can keep those celebrations right. going that way. Yeah, it really is just a beautiful tradition. So, Waleed, thank you for shining some light on the history. We appreciate that.